When you drift, is it like you're driving with your eyes closed? Summit! Is there not a single wall in the nearest 100 meter distance that you haven't hit? Or are you just drifting to an okay level, but always missing out on that 800k score that I know you can get? Well, today I'm going to show you how to drift. Yes, this is going to be a full in-depth guide on the handbrake method with all of the pro settings, the, what you need to use with your controller, a full guide on how to use the handbrake method. That is the way all of the sweats get 800k scores. Yes, I'm here to help all of you and show you the best parts, the best methods, the best pro settings, the best cars, all of that on how to drift. Whether you're drifting to just drift out in the open on a road trip, whether you're drifting to just have some fun in some drift events, or whether you're drifting to get the 800k score in on a summit event or a normal event, this will be the guide for you. Yes, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sid and today I'm going to show you everything I've already just said, basically. A good way to drift. And this video was brought to you by the sub button, head down there, subscribe, notifications on, all right? I'm doing a bunch of stuff here, okay? <laughs> New cars, motor pass, original series, movie car battles, an Icon 9999 account, all of that stuff. So, let's get into the video. And here we are, and the first on the Sidwatch video side of things is the little controller at the bottom. Yes, I haven't normally done that, no. I have it in my streams, I have it every stream. You can see what I'm pressing there. Of course, if I head over here, you can see exactly what I'm pressing, what I'm doing with what. Of course, I'm going to be getting into the overpowered 800k handbrake method later on. However, right now, I'm going to show you some little tips and tricks that even if you're an experienced player, you might not know or more for the inexperienced players. Well, and here on the first thing I can tell you is just the little tips on drifting on like a road trip drift, you know, where you're just kind of cruising or you're playing a normal event, not really going for like the crack score. You're just kind of drifting. And the real strats are is to just swing it in there and then sort of balance it out, especially on these kind of roads that I'm on here, on this little drift road that I normally follow. Of course, I'm not really trying to hold a combo at the moment. I'm just kind of, you know, drifting for the sake of drifting, which this is that, but I will be showing you, of course, the better ways later on. It's just a little casual drifting. And of course, if, if all else fails of me explaining what I'm doing, you can always just look down at the bottom of the screen and see what I'm doing. When you sort of over, over tighten a drift, you can nitro to get out of it to so if you sort of overcompensate on the turn, you know, went a bit, went a bit too, went a bit too tight. That's what you gotta do. You gotta just nitro out of it. You, you gotta know that it's more of a balancing game than it is anything, especially for this normal method. It's way more just, can I gauge what angle that turn is, and can I match up how much I swing my car out to that turn? Of course, balance how much throw you use, balance how much braking you use, all of those kind of different things just to sort of know what you're doing oh nope literally never hit that one right of course these are little casual drifts and of course if you want pro settings for these kind of drifts if you just head on to the link in the description it's a bit lower down but there's a link to the pro settings page for the crew 2 where you can find all kinds of pro settings perhaps even for the method that i'm going to be showing later on but some normal settings as well so check out all of those it's just that simple it's it's really that simple but now, I'm gonna head over to Airport Terminal D, the showcase drift event, if you will, the sort of the main one, the meat and potatoes of the drifting in the crew too, yes. Let's head over. Now, this is gonna be the normal method for a drift event. The kind of cars you want to be using in events like these is for events with longer, wider turns, sweeping turns. You can use the Lamborghini Aventador. Of course, then there's also the RX-7, Mazda RX-7, great drift car. And then my personal choice for a more normal drifting experience is the Roof 3000K, I think it is. I'm not sure what it was. You would have seen it there anyway. But this thing was previously, before the new method, my go-to drift car. It's just a very easy to learn drift car. It's a very easy to learn one. It's not one you can really mess up too easily. I am no longer used to it at all. I'm going way too tight on turns because I think I'm using the other method. But it is, of course, a very, very nice to use drift car. It's good to keep combos. Of course, what you really want to be doing to keep your combos is 
just always making sure you're swinging left to right. Just make sure you already know what your next turn is. By going through this turn, I know that it's a right-hander here, so I can balance it out and go into it like that. I'm about to turn into a wide sweeping right. There you go. So you got to really lengthen it out and sweep into it. There you go. And just like that, it might take you one or two tries to really get used to a drift track. But that's really what it is. got to know every track for what is on it. And the only thing I can really suggest for this one is, of course, just like the casual drifting one, is just sort of balance it out. Now, I, I know I am absolute shambles right now. But that's because I don't remember what I'm doing with this method anymore. You want to try and lengthen out your single drifts as well. What you don't want to be doing is going like, oh, little drift, then sort it out, little drift, turn, smaller drift, again a smaller drift. Not what you're trying to do. You want to try and make sure your drifts are as lengthy as possible. You will see why in the next method. Now again, for pro settings, the same page for that's down there in the description. But just like that, let's head over and move on to this final method. What cars to use for it and how to do it. The handbrake slash tap method of drifting. Here we go. Now, the car you want to be using for this is the BMW Z4 S-Drive 35iS. Yes, this is the best car for this drift method. However, for the sake of this video, I'm going to be using the Viper as I prefer the Viper looks-wise and I kind of like how it handles as I refuse to use the Z4 because I don't like it. Look at it. It's a bad car. But... Of course, these are the exact same pro settings. I shall get rid of my controller. These are the exact same pro settings you want to be using for your Z4. If you're using the Z4, make sure you use exactly these ones. You can screenshot, you can pause the video here, go load up your game or screenshot the video, of course. So when you load it up later, these are the parts you want to be using here. I'll even pose for the screenshot. All right, you ready? You ready? And screenshot. There you go. You're welcome. But the <laughs> these are the ones you want to be using. And here are the affixes. Hothead and slippery. Yes, the ones I'm using here are boosted parts as I got these from the summit. So they are maxed out and then boosted past that amount. But the way to get them is, of course, hover over them, recalibrate and wait till you get one of the affixes you want, which is, of course, like I said, slippery and hothead. The two to go for as one of them increases the maximum multiplier by 14 as in each part increasing it by ex an extra 14% on top of that 50% you get stock, as well as 20 from icon points, sorry, 25. And the other increases the speed multiplier by 10%. So the faster you go, the more you're going to be gaining, and the longer you drift, the more you're going to be gaining. And the gold affix here, the set bonus, that doesn't really matter at all. You don't really need to care about that. You could honestly do this with purple parts you just want gold so they have maximum percentages but realistically they all just need hothead and slippery and that's all and there you go just like that i'm gonna hop into this thing of course remember that the z4 is the best for this method so if you want to get into it use the z4 with the pro settings i showed and now a full description on how to use this method now i use this in pvp and it works the same so even without affixes and parts boosts you can see the camera there is is highly odd and it starts right here this is where the method starts. Before you load into this event, start holding X. It will make sense in a second. And then you go off and tap square. Yes, what that does is there's a way in the crew too. This has been in the game for a while now, but if you handbrake and nitro at the same time, so X and square, what happens is it basically swings out the back of your car. It does this in any road spec. It, it's always done this if you use handbrake and square. Also, I forgot to mention during the video, but you also want to be in manual. Now make sure you're in manual and go straight away to gear two. If you're in the Viper, if you're in the Z4, make sure you go straight to gear three. Each gear is based on whatever track you're on and that gear controls how quick you go. So if you're going around a smaller, a tighter turn, go down one gear. But that's basically what you want to do because you want to keep your car in a single gear, that gear being three for the Z4, two for the Viper. Make sure you're in manual. There you go. And now you can see 
how I'm sort of going about it with the left stick. Now, the real control here is on how often you tap square and how much you balance turning as well. See, because turning is half of the game here. What this method achieves, essentially, is you're drifting for a lot longer. And what longer drifts do is it basically makes your multiplier for your points go up a lot quicker and you get a lot more points that way. You can break to sort of balance out the turns and what you want to do, say you've overturned, you kind of want to be holding it that one direction. Say you accidentally haven't gone wide enough, then you can just really break and then really swing it, like balancing the break to really slow down your car and then you can hairpin just like that and then of course leaving it a bit loose to go around the wide ones there you go yes and for this one i have in fact become a pair of hands see here if i nitro and then press handbrake it actually cancels the nitro and if i just stay on the nitro after that it holds x and doesn't nitro which is what we want See, the reason that's useful is as when I started out, I found it very hard to actually stay on X the whole time. So don't worry, if you lift your finger off X by mistake, you can actually go back to holding it. And the whole point of what I'm doing right now, you would have noticed there then was, a, was an awkward little silence there. Because I'm about to show you a full run of Airport Terminal D. No cuts, let's hope I don't fail. Let's hope I'm actually... You know, there's some proof in my pudding here. And I actually know what I'm doing. Ah, that was a bit risky there, but I wanted to drag out the drift as long as I could. You want to see that the same points are going up at the same score. If the points reset, that means you're on a different score, which means your multiply is not going to be going up as quick, which is not what you want. But like I said, here I'm balancing every single thing I've taught you today which is this handbrake method, the brake using the handbrake method if you've gone too wide on turn, if you've overcompensated, using the handbrake to just sort of jiggle your car wider and wider, as well as then sort of knowing what the next turn is every time. Now, this is quite a common race. I do like this race. It's a, it's a very fun race. It's one of my favorite ones. It's a good race. I've said race many times. But yes, Airport Terminal D is the race I used to grind. Event, I guess, I used to grind back when way back when when i used to just play this game for fun jesus remember that but it's so it's one i have memorized a lot it's one i have memorized a lot along with like miami track side this method still works in every single drift event basically there is a different donutting method which also works but it's a lot bottier than this one this one's a lot simpler to that's absolutely shocking for me that's absolutely shocking okay well 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 if I can find the footage, we did do a full one there, 734k, but if I can find the footage, I will show on screen my absolute highest score I've gotten on Airport Terminal D using this method. And it is this method that all of the sweats use to actually get their insane scores. It works in PvP, it works in free drive, it works in... It works in anywhere you can actually just whip this car out and start drifting. You don't even really need the overpowered parts on it. You just need to know how to do the method. And there you go, I have just given you a little guide on it. Maybe if I was using the Z4, I might have been able to get 100k there, but I don't like the Z4. Z4 bad, but... If you want to get into this method, use the Z4 with the pro settings that I gave you. And that was a full intuitive guide on how to drift. Yes, I told you things about free roam. I told you things about the handbrake method, about how to drift and all of that good stuff. But that is about it from me. I hope you guys did enjoy this video because I enjoyed making it. And thank you so much to popular members. Above that, thank you to famous members. Thank you to them. And then also thank you to Icon members for the love of life and Sid Wadge, his daddy. Uh, them too. Yes, of course, head down there and become a member today. But that is about it from me. I hope you guys did enjoy this video because I enjoyed making it. As I always say, that's about it from me. In a bit. My heart spills, so I'm cleaning up a mess, yeah. I gotta go to church, feel the demons at my neck, yeah. When I'm on a pill, I be feeling like I'm blessed, it's a curse. When I'm on the drugs, I'm the worst, shawty. Tell me how it feels, tell me does it hurt. Tell me if it's wrong when I'm lifting up your shirt. Shawty, tell me if it's real, or would you leave me in the dirt?